Walter Alexander was born in Glasgow, Scotland in 1849, and moved to a farm in Portage County with his parents when he was just nine years old. In 1862, at age 13, Walter Alexander moved to Wausau and began working for his uncle, Walter McIndoo, Wausau's first and most prominent lumberman. McIndoo owned the sawmill George Stevens originally built at Big Bull Falls in 1840. After attending Wausau schools, Walter Alexander studied at Ripon College for two years. He left college at age 17 when his uncle summoned him back to Wausau to manage the entire sawmill operation. Walter Alexander married Sarah Strobridge in 1874, and they raised four children in their beautiful home on the site of what is now the First United Methodist Church. In 1872, when his uncle died, Walter Alexander formed a partnership with John and Alexander Stewart. Two years later, the three of them created the Alexander Stewart Lumber Company, which would prosper for nearly three decades until it was sold in 1912. Due to his shrewd business talents and early financial success, Alexander played a major role in the growth of many local financial institutions. He was president of the Marathon County Bank, vice president of the American National Bank, and an officer of the Walter Alexander Investment Company, to name a few. He was also one of the largest investors of the legendary Wausau Group that helped diversify Wausau's lumber-based economy. In 1900, Alexander helped organize Wausau paper mills in Brokaw, the area's first paper mill, and became president of the company in 1905. He held that position until his death in 1926. Today, Wausau paper produces premium and technical uncoated paper with sales of $1 billion per year. Walter Alexander invested in and helped establish many other local ventures that eventually became large, well-known companies, such as Employees Mutual Liability Insurance Company and Marathon Electric, which still manufactures and ships electric motors and generators all over the world today. Alexander also helped organize the Wisconsin Valley Improvement Company, which continues to regulate water flow on the Wisconsin River for hydroelectric, industrial, and recreational uses. Alexander Dam and Lake Alexander and Merrill were named after Walter Alexander. Also, the Alexander Airport Park reopened in 2018 to honor the Alexander family's history in aviation. Alexander also set up and helped manage the Marathon Paper Mills and the Wisconsin-Arkansas Lumber Company, one of the largest sawmills in the South. At the time of his death in 1926, Walter Alexander had interests in 15 different lumber or timber companies in Wisconsin, Indiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, California, Oregon, and British Columbia. Always eager to help Wausau develop, Alexander helped establish the Wausau Street Railway and the Wisconsin Valley Electric Company. He was fond of showing people around Wausau and, despite his busy schedule, would always have time for a tour of his hometown and all it had to offer. Alexander contributed to many area charitable organizations throughout his lifetime and donated the land for the Wausau Public Library. Today, his legacy lives on through the Walter Alexander Foundation to celebrate the people and projects of Wausau in central Wisconsin.